Celtic Cup this weekend then. Always yeah. a big weekend and we'll we'll share rugby league calendar. How are you feeling going into it? I'm really excited. Um, I mean, this will be only my second Celtic Cup. Um, so it's, you know, it feels like it's been forever since we have competed at that level, um, since the test matches, um, autumn last year. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm ready to get stuck in and see what Scotland and Ireland have got to bring uh, compared to last year. Everybody's still developing and working towards World Cup. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to get stuck in and uh, try and keep my recent record of 30 seconds on the pitch and score. <laughs> oh, is that a receiving? My, my research didn't flag up that. So come on, so is that your is that your Welsh? Is that um, every time you pull a Welsh I, shirt, you score within 30 seconds. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm probably I'm probably over exaggerating it being a record, but I'm pretty sure um that's what happened at last Celtic is within that 30 second mark. Um, I made a break and scored. Uh, so, you know, I mean, it's not about me scoring, it's about the team, but it'd be nice. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Plus, I get really like, I'm like, huh, come and catch me. <laughs> that does a very impact player if ever, uh, I've ever heard of one. Um, current holders, uh, comprehensive winners last year um, in Wales, hosting it. I suspect as a squad, there's only one outcome that you're going to be happy with come the end of uh, end of the weekend. Yep, uh, winning is the outcome um, that you know we will be happy with. Anything less than that is, you know, we, it means we haven't done our job, um, and we know that you know both Scotland and Ireland will have something different to bring this year. They've they've changed up the squads a little bit. Um, however. That will be our advantage because the squad that we've got have been training together, you know, for um, 18 months or so at this point. So we're going in, we know each other, we know how we play and, um, you know, I, anything less than winning for me personally, <laughs> uh, you know, it's not, it's, it's not going to be where we're at. Um, so, I mean, I'm hoping we get some really good good games with lots of impact and that kind of thing um but yeah the the aim is to win and that in my mind is what we're doing regardless and what are the things that you need to do as a team as a squad to ensure you get that end result like you say Ireland and Scotland uh, have changed a bit from last year so you might not know too much or as much as you might have done but what are the things we need to do to make sure that we get the result at the end of the day so we need communication. That's always the key to anything we do um, game wise. And as long as we can keep that communication up, everything else will follow. Um, we've got our plays. We know what we're doing. We know defensively what we'll be doing and how to react. Um, but for me and for the team, it is comms, 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 comms. And I'm pretty sure by the end of the weekend, they'll be sick of me screaming at them. Uh, <laughs> whether I'm on the pitch or not, uh, they're going to hear me. <laughs> uh, and how do you feel about your form then going into this? Are you, are you happy with how your game is at the moment? Yeah, I'm really happy with how my game is at the minute. Um, I have picked up a few injuries the last few weeks, um, but I'm recovering. I, I ended up with really badly bruised ribs a couple of weeks ago. Um, we've recently discovered that I broke my finger in that same game, um, and um, that was not healing right. And then uh, what I discovered last week is I'd actually dislocated my knuckle and um in training went in for a tackle and put it back in the right place so you know <laughs> um those aside <laughs> uh, i have a very high um pain tolerance so i know that the injuries that i've sustained in domestic league aren't going to impact how i'm going to play this weekend and i mean you know me personally i have been the happiest that i've been with my performance um, I feel like I've really settled back into my old rhythms. Um, I had a period of time before joining Wales that I just wasn't happy and I'd lost any kind of zest for the game. And last year was kind of me learning the game again and stepping back into it and not being afraid of doing things. Um, and in that time period, I mean, I never used to kick. And I am not scared of kicking these days. I'm like, you don't think I'm going to do it on fifth and last? Oh, there you go. Somebody's going to score. <laughs> so, you know, but I think um, 
everybody has been working on themselves in domestic league and outside of the sport you know I've just come uh, <laughs> come back from the gym rather not do that on a bank holiday however um needs must I know I've got a busy week work-wise so I have to uh, adjust my schedule to that and I think I've got a lot to give for this weekend and I'm hoping I will be that impact player that I come on, I do my job and at the end of the day, everybody's happy and that that's my aim. Um, I try not to focus on mistakes, I try and minimise them, uh, normally because I forget as soon as I finish the game what has happened in that game. <laughs> um, so, you know, um, I... I'm looking back at last year's Celtic and looking at how I played then, uh, comparing it to some of the games that I've had this year at domestic level. And I can see the difference and I'm hoping that that will be, you know, a really good benefit to the rest of the squad in that I can bring a lot to it defensively and attacking wise too. Plus somehow I've got faster. Um... <laughs> no, well, you mentioned there that you, you know, you're really happy with where your game is, but perhaps not so long ago you lost that that passion or that zest for for the game could you pinpoint either one thing or or different things that have perhaps helped go, go from the position you were into the position you are in now um I mean it's 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 hard to pinpoint other than I had a lot of support from Wales Rugby League you know especially with Steve and my team and when I had surgery um I think it was about two years ago now I'm really bad with time frames they you know I was doing zoom sessions with the rest of the team and doing my rehab that way because at least then I you know I was still umming and ahhing about my decisions for international um and this squad I mean it we there's a lot of banter like I know for example uh, Shu Williams is one that will will rip me to shreds if he can. Um, you know, tell me you've not done this and you've not done that, and then uh, as soon as my back's turned, wipe his sweaty hand all over my head. Uh, <laughs> and it's it's there's fun in it, and I think that's the main thing is within the squad. Yes, we are serious. We do train hard. Uh, you know, we have really intense training camps, but there's still that element of fun and. I think I lost that and the squads, the squad and the coaching staff all made me realise that this sport can be fun again and it is honestly I can only credit the squad and coaching staff of me learn, learning to love the game again and feeling comfortable within myself and knowing that I can try new things when we're competing and training and nobody's going to go oh you can't do that um I mean, they might go, oh, kicking's not your strong suit. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I'm never discouraged from trying things that I was hesitant before. Um, and that is the big difference for me. Fantastic. You, you, the Celtic Cup will obviously be at the forefront of your mind. And you mentioned the World Cup already. So my question was, have you allowed yourself to think about it? <laughs> Clearly you have. You've not played in a World Cup before with Wales. It obviously has been at some quite far at the back of your mind or not. Um, how are you feeling about that with, with obviously the Celtic Celtic Cup rather in the immediate um, future? What are your thoughts about the World Cup coming up? Uh, the World Cup is just a running thought. It's always there. Uh, everything I do is, you know, with the intention of I need to do this. I need to work on this if I want to be in that squad. I'm aware that obviously I'm quite a newcomer to Wales and um, you know even though I the coaching staff and uh, my teammates are aware of what I can bring I still want to keep working on it uh, you know getting better getting faster stronger um, World Cup is always there obviously for certain things it goes to the back of the mind uh, Celtic is my main priority at the minute but I I want to be in that squad and um, you know not only for the fact that it's a World Cup uh, and I always bring my granddad into this but <laughs> uh, it will be the first World Cup that potentially if I'm in that squad he will be coming to watch me compete and you know across I want to say over the last 10 plus years because it has been that long of playing this the only time he has been proud of me 
is whilst I've been playing for Wales. Um, <laughs> so, and you know, like he he's getting older. He will not appreciate me saying that. So I hope he doesn't like listen to any of this. <laughs> um, and, you know, for me to have him sat there watching me and watching me play for not only my country, which is through heritage, but his country, um, it, it would be amazing. And not only that, I know that I am getting older. Uh, my body is uh, taking more and more hits and it takes a bit longer to recover. I would like to say I'm going to keep going until I can't, which is always my mindset. Uh, but to get another World Cup under my belt, it, it's just amazing. You know, I don't know. I don't know how many um, players, especially female players, can say I have played in. Um, I think this will be my third World Cup uh, if I'm selected. And um, not only that, it's it's pride and being able to showcase that pride, um, which also means that I'm going to have to spend even more time learning the national anthem because of my condition. Things don't stick uh, okay. <laughs> for some reason. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, even though I know what I want to like sing. Uh, my brain goes let's do this in French um, <laughs> so, so sometimes so, that's a bit of an so issue how, where, where would you um, rate yourself on 10 out of 10 being able to know the Welsh national anthem off by heart and when the music starts you're going and not being what is that first word where would you where would you put yourself at the moment how is that uh, teaching yourself the national anthem going I would put me at maybe a six mm. um, just because I have to repeatedly do things um to get it to stick in my mind um I'm so glad I don't work in the office currently because most of the time it gets played at least once or twice a day just so it's there uh which is a really weird thing to say I I play the Welsh National, national Anthem twice <laughs> well, a day I, I imagine there, there'll be Welsh people watching this thinking no that sounds completely completely normal thing to do <laughs> how else would you start your day <laughs> I mean, uh, but yeah, I think because again, I um, over the past few years, I've learned that my conditions have changed and the way I process things have changed, um, as well as getting, you know, new diagnosis and things like that. Uh, a lot of the way I, um, the way I work um, has now got an answer for it. And I know how to do things. So like when we're going through plays, for example, um, I learn from watching and I have to watch it a couple of times and I have to keep doing it uh, for it to stick in my mind, which is fine. Um, it's just that now, instead of me four or five years ago going, yeah, I've seen it once, let's do it. Uh, I just need that extra bit. Um, but, you know, I, I, I'm i gonna still keep playing it once or twice a day until it sticks um, to the point where last Celtic Cup, just so nothing went out of my mind, um, I think I annoyed my best friend to like, she, she was ready to kill me uh, because I'm pretty sure for the whole drive up to Scotland, we listened to the national anthem. <laughs> Uh, it's a long drive it took us five and a half hours <laughs> so you know I we're getting there um it's it's you know it's the same as anything else um it took me several years to learn French and I'm losing that as uh you know as I go on I am losing some of my earlier learnings I don't think that's the right word but uh because I don't use if I don't use it I lose it essentially yeah. <laughs> so we're getting there um but again, I very much World Cup wise, I just, I can't wait to sit there. Like, and I'm saying I can't wait. I've got my fingers crossed for selection. Uh, but, you know, sitting there and belting that out. And again, going back to my granddad to see, you know, to have him there watching me uh, doing that. And no doubt him also doing it. He's, he's deaf, by the way, so everyone will probably hear him. Uh, <laughs> especially if he's turned his hearing aids off which you know uh, but yeah it's a massive thing the World Cup and to have it at the level you know such support I remember 2013 I think it was um, where it wasn't really publicised you know there, there wasn't much um, excitement around it and 
2017 my years are a bit iffy so apologies um in france you know same again i mean the french kind of did really well in getting crowds there were school kids and things um but to have it on home turf essentially in you know in the uk and to have it uh, uh the group games at eis especially um i know that venue very well and i can't wait to see what they do there um but yeah the end goal is i want i want a spot in that squad um and i will do whatever it takes to prove that i deserve it um which you know it's it's very difficult when you think of it like that because to have 10 spots in a squad and to be a relative newcomer uh into the squad you always feel like i don't you know <laughs> i don't want to tread on anyone's toes and you know i'm thankful it's not me that makes a decision about the squad uh, i can't imagine the conversations that will happen for that um but regardless that's that's my goal um, if it happens, amazing. If it doesn't, I'll still be there supporting the squad either way. Um, and, you know, we we want to win this and we will work hard to win it and do everything it takes. And I believe in us, to be honest. You know, we're the squad that we've got at the minute, um, that's the train on squad is a, even though it's the same people, it's a very different mindset and mentality um and you know i've i've never really come into a squad and gelled with people like just just like that um it also helps if you have a sense of humor in the squad i'll tell you that much <laughs> and i'm aware that i do start rambling when i get because i get really excited about the prospect of world cup 